Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful, beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links, support page, Twitter, Discord, all that beautiful things, all those nice things. And also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Today I thought we would uh, we would look at, look at the engine stuff a little more because I'm not really satisfied with how this whole window uh, thing is working. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. So what we're doing is we're opening a window initialization file and then we are kind of um, setting these window bounds and everything um, and then creating the new window like this, right? Uh, what I want to be able to do as well is to kind of look at everything my computer supports. Okay, all the, all the video modes, everything my computer supports, and then I want to be able to choose between those uh, at a later time when we implement the the settings menu and all that stuff. So there's a there's a bunch of stuff that we can do, um, because SFML has this thing called video modes, and it has the computer's default video modes that it can support. Uh, so to check that out, we're gonna go into game.h. All right. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to write down here, create a std vector sf video mode uh, like that. Modes, video modes. Okay. Um, that should work. Yep. Okay. So there we go. There we go. There we go. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to say right in here somewhere. Or actually, when we load it, we're going to load the window initialization. And then we're going to say this video modes equals SF video mode get this get full screen modes. OK, and what that's going to do is it's going to return a vector of video modes uh, back to me, everything that SFML, basically my computer supports. And these are the full screen modes. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to have video mode here. Then we're also going to make a bool full screen. Okay. False. Then I'm going to, uh, add what more should we add? We should add, uh, anti aliasing. We're going to need a context context settings. Mm, so it's just going to be a unsigned uh, anti aliasing level by default zero. Pretty much going to be just like that. Um, cool, cool. All right. So if you want to know more about this, you can go into the SFML description thingy here and they'll tell you all about the modes and everything how you can uh, how you can set them and everything like that so I'm not 100% sure yet how I want to do this but at least I'm going to go ahead in here and I'm going to just wing it a little bit I'm going to my config file edit my uh, edit my window.ini file so I have my resolution my frame rate limit so I'm put the resolution that I'm just going to say zero for full screen and then anti-aliasing level is going to be all the way down. And that's going to be at zero as well for now. Mm, I'm just going to put that in. So let's just do that and say the next thing is going to be the full screen. Um, full screen. So I know this is kind of tedious. is isn't the most fun thing to do. Uh, but it's, it's some stuff that will help us later on if we want to enable some stuff. All that things, all those things, anti-aliasing level. So now I'll pretty much get that from the file, okay? And I'll default this. Actually, instead of 800, 600, I'm going to default this to SF video mode, get desktop mode. So it'll get the current resolution of your desktop, okay? So we'll get that and put it in there, and that should hopefully, uh, hopefully set it here for you um so that's good that's good and then we set the width and the height to whatever we want because full screen is is uh 
also off. And like I said later on, we will most probably add a settings menu where we'll do all this beautiful, th beautiful stuff. Um, and then we have the title as well. So now let's start off with the context settings. Mm, the context settings. So that's going to be anti-aliasing level. And the full screen thing is false. That's fine. We won't work with full screen right now. But it's a something called a SF style. We'll be able to put that in. Um, but what shall we do? What shall we do? We'll say SF context settings settings window uh, what am I doing window settings okay and then we're just gonna set these things window settings dot anti-aliasing level equals anti-aliasing level because that's a local variable that's why I have the underscore here and then we're going to see what we have. So if you look at your window settings, the context settings, I just want to tell you that all of these other things are, are only if you want to use SFML as a window for your OpenGL application. Now, this isn't an OpenGL application. This is straight up C++ and SFML. So the only thing relevant to you is anti-aliasing level and attribute flags. These two things. Everything else you can just forget. You don't have to care about these. These are all about OpenGL. And when you're working with that, uh, if you look in at my OpenGL tutorials, we don't use SFML for it. So it's sadly no tutorial for how to use these, but they're pretty self-explanatory if you want to do that. Uh, SFML has a good guide on how to use this as a context for your OpenGL application. Um, but never mind. Uh, so there we go. We have this thing. Now I just want to go in here and I want to just go into, I just want to go in and search SFML. Um, um, blah, 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 blah. what's it called? SFML mm, context settings. So I just want to show you where you can find all the context settings and the default values. So if you go in here, then you're going to just go down and here are all the context settings you can set. And here are the default values. So when you don't set them, this is what they're going to be. All right. This is what they're going to be. And I'm just going to use anti-aliasing and attributes. Okay. But I'm still going to have to set these all right so i'm gonna have to set this to zero 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 anti-aliasing one one so let's just go ahead and do that um dot or actually we don't need to do that attribute flags equals sf def or uh, sf default what was it it was something like that see i don't remember all these just just say default um well, actually, it already has that. We don't need to. We don't need to touch that. All we need to touch is anti-aliasing level. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but there you go. That's all you need to touch. You got the window bounds. Now there's something hidden in here. I also want to tell you guys. There's something called uh, window bounds dot bits per pixel. All right. That's that's the pixel depth. And you can read more about pixel depth. And that basically is how many colors you can have per pixel. I think. That's what it is. So, yeah, just remember it sets that for you when you do this to uh, probably 32. I think 32 is uh, pretty regular right now. So you don't have to care about that. But it will set it for you in the window. Uh, and then when we create these context settings right here, it will everything will get the default values. And we'll set the anti-aliasing level. And then we'll just say uh, style SF style default. And then we'll say context settings, window settings. Okay, we'll just do that, and we'll we'll pretty much create that for ourselves. We could create this outside. Actually, we we, we could do that. Let's just let's just do that. It's nice to have. Uh, so we'll have video modes, and then we'll have window settings. Then I'll call it window settings instead, because it's not a local variable, All right? And just we'll just say this window settings um, probably soon it should recognize that this window settings why did it not recognize that window settings okay 
there we go now it's fine all right so we set the anti-aliasing level and then we can say window settings here and we'll set it and default this is where you kind of add a bunch of things together so do i have time yes i do have time you know what we could do uh we could do this we can create this down here and what i want to do is i just want to say if full screen if we actually have a full screen application else uh, we'll do something else so, but we will create the window there's no doubt about that also i want to save this full screen uh, right here bull full screen i'm just gonna set that and then i'm gonna go ahead into here in initialize window and i'm gonna say and i put it into that and then uh, let's just do this full screen equals full screen. Now I know it's an extra variable and that's not nice, but it kind of makes it easier for me because I'll have all these local variables being printed into uh, from the file, the if stream, and then I'll put everything into where it should be. So it's kind of an extra step. You know, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I'll just do it because it looks nice. I don't want to have one this in here. It kind of makes it weird. So my OCD is kicking in. But that's cool for now. That's fine. So this full screen. Now if this full screen, uh, just because, just because we want this here. It's because I want to use my actual uh, full screen variable. So if it is full screen, we'll say SF style full screen sf style um uh, title bar and then sf style uh, close pretty much so we'll have these three and this is how you add these together so what i'm saying here is i want a full screen window uh, actually i don't need these what am i doing dude i'm so dumb i'm gonna need this in the other one uh whoops Okay, so if it's full screen, we'll just set it to full screen. It will just make a nice full screen window for us with the window bounds we just uh, gave it. And with the window settings. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm just going to paste that in there. I'm going to copy this, put it in, and put all of this in here instead. So we'll have a title bar and a close button, but we will not be able to resize the window. We don't want that. So there you go. Now you have a window, either a full screen window or non full screen window. And if you, oops, that's my other file. If you open Sublime Text here or whatever you have, I'm just going to put 1920, 1080. Okay. Uh, full screen is right here. So that's going to be, if I put that at zero, we'll not get a full screen if I do whatever. So if we just run this, let's try it out. Hopefully, hopefully it will work. Hopefully, 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 we won't get a crash. Please, God, don't crash. Okay, so we got a huge, huge window here. It's it's not resizable. If you try that, it won't work. It's not resizable. Even if you change states, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's great. But what if we change this to full screen? We just set a number one here. And maybe, well, we'll just do that and we'll run it. Hopefully, we'll get a full screen. It'll turn black for you guys, so don't worry. Probably will turn black. That's a good sign. Uh, yep, it did turn black for you. you can see? Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, so now we have a full screen game. Okay, so that's kind of how you can how you can play around with that. So let's just keep it at zero, and maybe yeah, we you know what we'll 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 keep it like that. You know what we'll keep it like that. That's that's, that's fine, I guess. It's it's easy to work with if you have this huge huge resolution. And once we start working with the camera, it's gonna get a lot easier. So no biggies, but there you go. That's it. That's it. That's great. And we'll make a little function for switching between full screen and non full screen and all that. Uh, but before I leave you guys, since I have to leave you now, 14 minutes in, um, we have all of this stuff. We do not have a initializer for variables. You just create that real quick uh, because let's see if it has it in here. State H, nope, uh, game.h, here we go. 
um, void init variables. Okay, we're just going to initialize some variables just to, whoops, just to be safe. Okay, just to be safe, we want this little function here to, uh, to help us out. So we have our initializer functions. Let's just look at what we have, what you want to initialize. You probably want to set window to null pointer. Probably want to set this to false, dt to 0.f. Okay, so let's just do that. This is just for safeguard. This window equals null. I'll use null because uh, of you coblox people. Uh, this dt equals 0.f. And you pro you want to make it a habit to initialize your stuff, all right? Full screen equals false. Okay, so you want to you wanna make sure you initialize stuff as much as you can. I know you always can't. But sometimes it's, it's really good because you, you might, um, well, it's just a good habit to have because you might get some errors because of that. But anyway, there you go. Bunch of nice stuff going on here. Window modes, uh, how to get your desktop resolution, everything. I hope this was cool. Sorry for the long video. Thank you for sticking with me and keep working hard, keep learning. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.